We are in the middle of Children's Week here in Azeroth, which means that there are some pets for you to grab and some achievements if you have never done this before. Those achievements are necessary to get the me long meta achievement, what a long strange trip it's been. Now, throughout this week, or an hour if you're a mage, you're going to be escorting various orphans around Azeroth. And I'm not talking about the Cody kid from Daddy of Five. I didn't do that! You tell me what you did! I swear to God, I didn't do that! Cody! Wow, that was my most savage joke ever. Someone needs a band-aid. I'm talking about these bright little happy orphans that don't seem to mind at all that the world is constantly on the brink of destruction here in Azeroth. So, it's up to you, mighty hero. To show these kids the world. Make them smile a little bit. It's good for you. This event runs from May 1st until May 8th, so make sure you do this as soon as possible. Any characters level 10 or higher can participate in this event, but to get everything, you are going to need to be around level 80 or higher. To start these little quest chains, you will need to speak to matrons in Stormwind and Ogremar to get your handy dandy orphan whistle. The Alliance Matron is located in Cathedral Square, and Matron Battle Whale for the Horde is located near the entrance to the drag, right outside the Engineer Shop. Her name is Battle Whale. That's so cool. Your orphan will want to see the world! I recommend having a mage friend or being a mage friend and doing these quest chains that way. They are super easy, but lots of traveling is required. Eventually, these five quests that you have will lead you to buying a foam sword for your orphan and sending them back to the matron, earning you a pet of your choice. And the achievement, aww, isn't it cute? Another matron is located in Shatrath for both Horde and Alliance. She is in the lower city near one of the ends on the right-hand side of the map. If you are a no-good stinking hordy, you get a blood elf, orphan named Salandria to join you. And if you are a shining ray of Alliance, you get Dorna the Draenei. And again, you'll just escort them where they want to go. The Horde will go to Sporagar and Zangermarsh and the Throne of Elements in the Grand, while the Alliance will go to the Ring of Observance in Terracar and Eris Landing in the Grand. And both sides will go to the Dark Portal in Hellfire. Then, it's all the way to Silvermoon City! The easiest way, by the way, is to take the Isle of Kualdanas portal in Shatrath to see the Torin Chieftains for the Horde, and the Exodar for the Alliance. Finally, both sides will go to the Caverns of Time. May I recommend the portal in both Dalarans? After this is done, you'll return to Matron Mercy in Shatrath and pick one of four new pets offered to you. Doing this three damn years in a row will give you the achievement Veteran Nanny. Although, this isn't required for the meta achievement, so don't worry about it this time around. Now! Let's talk about the achievements! That's probably why you came here, so let's jump into it. These are easy, and only one of them is even remotely time-consuming. There is one called Bad Example that requires you to eat food in front of your orphan. <laughs> That's awful. Amy in Dalaran near the Horde Bank sells four of the seven items that you need. Delicious chocolate cake and tasty cupcake can both be crafted with the cooking or bought on the auction house, although it's pretty expensive right now. Tagul in Furur's strawberry ice cream can be purchased from several vendors, although Amethu Smiles, Smiles? And Stormwind, he's a little gnome, he's by the bank in the auction house, and Alouch, Alouchis? Cervic in Ogremar, which is right outside the auction house in the Valley of Strength, he's a goblin. Those are the vendors that you want to go to for that ice cream. The next achievement is Daily Chores, which is to literally just turn in five daily quests with an orphan summoned. I like to do the low-level pet battle dailies to do this one super quickly. Hail to the king, baby! Requires you to kill King Yemeron while your orphan watches. Yeah, that's sick, dude. This is the final boss of Utgard Pinnacle, which is found in the Howling Fjord of Northrin. This is why I recommend being level 80. You can't really get to this boss if you aren't around that level. Home Alone! Use a Hearthstone type item while your orphan is out. That's it. I'm, I'm dead serious. And finally, the most time consuming one, School of Hard Knocks. This requires you to do some PvP, and now is the time. This week is great. You need to capture the flag in Eye of the Storm. Just camp yourself right in the middle of the map. Don't let anybody get that flag except for you. Assault a tower in Alterac Valley. This one is quite easy. Just run by your team and assault a tower that's further up where your team currently isn't there yet. Assault a flag in Arathi Basin. Be the first one out of the gate and grab stables or farm. That's it. 
And finally, Return of Fallen Flag in Warsong Gulch. I personally think that this one is the hardest, but that one is actually made super easy right now by doing the current PvP brawl. It counts. Each faction will spawn in with three flags, and this is great because you need 10 flags to actually win the battleground, so you will have plenty of chances to beat somebody and take their flag back. And that's all the achievements! It's that easy, and it to only took me about eight years to complete on my paladin, and today about an hour on my mage. Oh, guys, but we're not done yet. Do you want another pet? This is an achievement base, there's no achievements left, you did them all. But in the Northrend Dalaran, the old Dalaran, there's another orphan waiting for you from Matron Arya, who is by the Alliance Bank. You must pick either the Oracle Orphan or the Wolvar Orphan. I recommend the Wolvar, this way you don't have to travel all the way to Angoro later. Anyways, both choices will have you visiting Grizzlemaw in Grizzly Hills and the Bronze Dragon Shrine in Dragonblight. Wolvar will go to Snowfall Glade in Dragonblight, while the Oracles are heading to Winterfin Murlocs in Borean Tundra. Then, it's off to see Alexstrasza at the top of Wormwist Temple. Wolvar needs to then head to Sholasar Basin to meet Hemic Nessingwary, while the Oracles go all the way to Angoro Crater to meet with a Titan Construct. And finally, you can end Children's Week by heading to the Wonderworks in Old Dalaran and then back to the Matron these orphans go. Your reward? Your orphan joins you as a pet! Yeah, I don't know what that says, I don't know what the social commentary is there, but it's not good. And we did it! Children's Week is done! Give yourself a pat on the back and just wait anxiously for the Midsummer Fire Festival. I know I will because Children's Week just doesn't stand a, a candle to that one. No? Okay. Thank you all for watching our Children's Week guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video. It helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. We stream all the time. And I just want to take a moment to say that this video is made possible by all of our patrons over on patreon.com slash online and the sponsors here on YouTube Gaming. Specifically, huge shout out to Neil Carr, our producer. This video was made possible thanks to you. And uh, remember to never give up, never surrender.